I don't think there's a lot to say. Um, I, I remember standing approximately here last year and apologizing to our fans for the poor job we have done as owners, and I would just reiterate that again. Our record's unacceptable, and we accept full responsibility for that. I don't think that I need to say this, but the way the world works today, I want to say this. Hugh Jackson will be back as our coach next year in 2018. He and John are already off to a good start and working well together. And um, there weren't, weren't a lot of positive today, except that we also secured the number four draft pick. So we're excited to see what John can do with the draft picks we've accumulated, as well as what we can do in free agency. Um, I heard Hugh's remarks. I don't know that I have a lot to say to that. So we've got a long way to go, a lot of work to do, and anxious to get after it. Did you bring back a coach who's one in 31? Yeah, I, I think, Pat, that you could say a lot of things about us this year, but down to the last minute or two minutes, our guys played hard. And I think the primary job an NFL coach has to do is provide leadership, and I think Hugh's provided great leadership. Did you, you see progress? I'd say it's been uneven. Listen, Terry, none of us thought, I don't think anybody predicted 0-16, so that was disappointing. So I think the progress has been uneven. I think we got the ability or the opportunity to move substantially forward in this offseason for next year, and that's what we got to do. I mean, it's one thing, talk's cheap, so it's one thing for me to say it, we got to go do it. Jimmy, when you, um, when you discussed the job with John Dorsey, was bringing Hugh Jackson back a prerequisite, or how did that compensation work? Uh, John had a lot of respect for Hugh. The two did not really know each other, but John had a lot of respect for Hugh. Hugh had a lot of respect for John, and John understood he was going to be our head coach. What I'm asking is, did, when you talked to, to John Dorsey, it was never say, it, the conversation was never that way. I told him that he was going to be our head coach, so it was not a lot of debate going back and forth. Since you brought the team, the message has been very clear. Year in and year out, we're going to turn this thing around. Five years into it, the franchise now is historically bad by NFL league standards. Right. Why are you so confident that Hugh Jackson is going to be able to get this thing turned around? Well, if you go back two years ago, I think Hugh was one of the hottest assistant coaches out there, right? And I don't think Hugh's lost his magic on how to call plays or how to run an offense or how to coach a team. And I think it's our job, John and his group, to get in the players to do so, okay? And I'm not saying this is going to be easy, but I'm confident we'll do this. And some of you don't know us that well. We do not give up easily. We're not going to give up. Is it disappointing? Hell yeah, it's disappointing. Is it discouraging to a certain point? But we're going to we're going to get this done. What are some examples? What are some examples of what you've seen that uh, indicate to you that that uh, the new GM and the, your head coach are getting along well and can work together? Well, I work with them every day. I mean, I sit with them every day. You know, I mean, I see them going back and forth. I see them talking. I know they're in each other's offices constantly. I'm in two meetings a week with them where I can tell you there is one goal and one goal only, and that's to turn the franchise around. So they are working extremely well together now. They'll be give and take as we approach the draft, as there always is. But they're two football guys. they got good football knowledge, good football background. They're off to a good start. There's talk that, uh, that Hugh will be hiring an offensive coordinator. Is, is that something that you're requiring him to do? That That's Hugh's call. Happen? That's Hugh's call. Mm -hmm. Jimmy, Jimmy, there's, Jimmy, there's been hypothetical. This is hypothetical, but he has been put out there so many times. If the Bengals called you about Hugh Jackson offering to trade for your coach, would you consider that at all? We're delighted to have Hugh Jackson as our head coach. Jimmy, there's a little buzz in the Cleveland business community. Tony, I, I don't know where that would come from. I mean, no, that really aggravates me. Nothing could be further from the truth. Our commitment to the community and the team, our execution might not be very good, and I'll take all the grief for that, but commitment, you can't question. So I, I unequivocally say that is false, and we plan on owning the Browns for a long time and turn this franchise around. Jimmy, a couple more. The, was the roster, and I know it's just moments after, was the roster too young? It's it's tough to win with this many young players. It is so, uh, particularly in the quarterback room. Jimmy, it seems like a lot of the fans. The last two years as a personnel failure only, not a coaching failure at all. No, uh, but I think it's all the above. Ownership, personnel, coaching. We can all do better, okay? And I don't think there's anybody that would tell you any differently. I know I can do a hell of a lot better. Jimmy, it seems like the fan, a lot of fans don't want to see you come back. Um, do you think it's a tough sell to sell him when you're, he's coming off one in 31? I'll say what I've always said. I think we have the best fans in the NFL. And when we win, they'll, the Hugh Jackson will be their hero. I'm convinced of that. It's all about winning and losing. And until we start winning, we're going to catch a lot of grief. And we deserve it. Can you see you as a guy that can take this team to the playoffs? I do. Absolutely. Jimmy, when you decided 
uh, two years ago to think outside the box with Sashi and Dean Protesto. Um, what do you think went, went wrong with that? You know, I'm not, I'm not going to get into that. I'm excited about having John Dorsey here. John Dorsey lead our team and excited to see he and Hugh work together. Does Pedesta, Last one here. Does Pedesta fit into what Dorsey is going to do? And do you have an update on it? Yeah, does I think Pedesta Paul and John are off to a good start. And we, as I said on December 8th, we look forward to Paul being part of our organization going forward. Thanks, guys. Thank you.